Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes. So we are I'm, I'm so used to putting my throttle like basically right there. Uh we are definitely going to jump into the career mode once again. I really have been kind of neglecting it and just not really been doing much with it, mostly because I have just not really been a hundred percent dedicated towards career mode and I haven't really cared so much but my main goal at least for right now with the career mode is I would really love to explore Minmus as far as the different biomes I know that when I think biomes and I know most of you guys have at least played Minecraft before or at least heard of it in Minecraft, there's biomes, and each one is so much different from the other one, at least, sort of, and <sighs> with Minmister, the biomes are almost the same. I mean, they look the same for the most part. I mean, I guess if you want to say geologically they're different, I could sort of agree with you on that one, but... I want to do the science collection and stuff like that, and I see that the best way of doing this is launching a station in orbit that has at least a decent amount of fuel, and I figured at least one tank for right now would suffice as far as the amount of fuel that we would need as far as doing experiments and stuff, which I've been forgetting to do. I, okay, we can't collect any science from this part of the atmosphere anymore, so... But, yeah, so I I want to unlock the science module, which I haven't even unlocked yet. So that would be kind of like the next thing, I guess, in line, because I know at that point, then you can actually sort of start, you know, doing other things, and, you know, it, it kind of un opens up the game, and you can get more science instead of constantly fighting to even get just a little bit of science at least in this game so that I feel will really open things up at least a little bit more and I can start actually unlocking some better parts and stuff like that because right now we really really don't have a lot and I would really like to unlock the bigger engines and maybe at some point I know that nuclear engines are kind of sort of hard to unlock and I know there's other people out there that have unlocked basically everything in the game and hats off to you because I don't have that kind of patience so it looks like this launch is going somewhat well I am not very confident in this rocket but I did test it out a little bit so it seems like it will work but Eh, that's always a big seems like it because half the time some of this stuff doesn't even work as intended, but whatever. So anyways guys, uh, we will not be doing very much here for a while and we need to get to Minmus as soon as possible. What is that? Uh, I, I think, oh yeah, that's uh, Minma 1. Anyways, I'll see you once we can get into orbit around Gerben.
and we're back, guys. It looks like... I don't know if we're gonna have enough fuel to get there. I am very, very skeptical, as usual. I, I, I really don't know about this. This is kind of, you know, this is the one of the things that, like... It's, it's an enjoyable challenge, <laughs> but this is one of the reasons why I avoided the career mode, is kind of th that not knowing factor to a lot of things. It's, I don't really go as far as calculating Delta V and all that stuff in my rockets. I usually just kind of build until I, I feel fairly confident in knowing that it will reach its intended target and everything else. And, I mean, I'll do... I did Delta V calculations when I built, like, my Jewel Carriers. Or, I mean, my Jewel Explorer 14, but not on the other ones, which is kind of the reason why they were big failures. So, I mean, uh, a lot of the things I really don't calculate out, and I really don't do a lot of crazy calculation to make sure that all my stuff is going to work a hundred percent right and and I think that's kind of one of my downfalls <laughs> with this game is just that like I I care enough to build really cool stuff but I don't care enough to really really test it out a hundred percent and make sure that everything is like you know basically hunky dory or whatever you want to call it hunky dory is a good term I I, I like that I like hunky dory so let's see I the one thing I will cover a little bit is um, this basic station once we really do reach orbit and everything else around Minmus, I am okay with the idea of having to use some of the fuel in this stage. I really don't know how much I'm going to actually have to use, but if I have to use some, I'll do it, basically, even though I really am opposed to using it. So it looks like we got a 1 minute and 20 second burn before or we have to wait one minute and 20 seconds before and that is going to be a very very long burn i i ended up putting the poodle engine on here because i figured it would probably it's probably the most efficient engine i have right now uh compared to everything else i have it really i i don't really honestly know if it is the absolute most efficient one but i pretty much am guessing that it is at least at this point off the RCS we do not need RCS fuel for right now I, I did bring a good amount of RCS too and that's pretty much all the station is gonna have about 600 I really don't think we're gonna need more than that once again don't need to bring a lot um, on my jewel carrier or jewel I keep on calling it a carrier for some reason on my jewel ship whatever RCS is on it right now and that is on my modded series, I should mention. Whatever amount is on it right now is pretty much going to be all the RCS I bring with me on any trip. I ended up basically really figuring out that bringing RCS is not a very efficient thing. In this game, RCS, I think, is the least efficient fuel to bring with you for anything. And I really kind of advocate not bringing as much because it's you know the the old kind of saying is like oh you never you never know when you're gonna need need a lot of it but at the same time bringing 2,000 units of RCS fuel while it is a good idea if you are going to be doing a boatload of docking it really isn't a big deal if uh, you're bringing it with you and it, it's gonna be basically dead weight 90% of the mission so my idea is just bring as much as you think you're going to need and don't bring any more than that. I, I guess that would be the best way to put it for the most part. It looks like we're going to just scrape by though. I, I, I really do think we're just going to scrape by with just enough fuel for uh, this mission. I, I really, even if we have to use just a few units of, of the fuel, I'm not going to be totally against or I should say opposed so I think we hold yeah there we go transfer that out and I'll transfer out this guy and we need to at least slow down a little bit 
I'm trying to make sure that we maintain stability while we do this. Otherwise, we could potentially screw up our entire mission. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, God. What's that looking at right now? Uh, not very good. See, this is where... Um, should I use RCS fuel for this? I, I could probably get by with not using any of it, but... I'll, I'll do the easy way, I guess. I don't know if this would be considered the easy way. This is a hard way. Oh, God. Yeah, that, that, that's perfect. Our orbit is actually really good, too. Wow. That, that I've been having a lot of trouble getting to Minmus a lot or recently. And I, it's not because of... Um, I, I, I don't know what it is, but I remember at one point I was like so... So it was so easy for me to get to Minmus. Like, I just never had any problems. Now all of a sudden it's like I've been having problems locking... Or setting up the uh, encounter and everything. I, I just... I have no idea. I, I just get, I get derpy sometimes. I think that's just the main thing. I, I'll just get derpy with this game and just do stuff wrong for like apparently no reason whatsoever. So let's get this thing in orbit. Amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. So I really hope we don't run out of fuel. It looks like we're going to have, like, just enough to get into, like, a fairly stable orbit. If we can get into orbit, I'll be happy. If we run out of fuel just as we get into orbit, nope. We're going to actually have to use fuel from our tank. That sucks. So, there we go. I don't know how much we're going to actually have to use, so it's not that much of a big deal, but... Oh, God. There we go. Slow down. Now, I'm going to put this thing at about 100 orbit. 100 out seems fairly decent. There we go. I'm going to try to fix this up a little bit, too. I don't really want this thing to have, like, a silly-looking orbit, but... You know what? I'll, I'll keep the inclination on it for right now, because I can't really fix any of this stuff. It'd be nice if I had, like, a far-orbiting satellite like I used to do, like, on my, uh, my career, or not my career, but my sandbox. I have a far-orbiting satellite, which really does help with stabilization and things like that, where you can actually kind of align things with, you know, just kind of setting it up and everything just looks amazing. And There we go. Yeah, we're going to have to use some RCS fuel, I think. I'm not that opposed, once again, to using it. Let's see. This should be bringing our orbit back out. What is this at? 100? And we need to do one of these guys here. Perfect. There, that, that, that's actually very good. I'm very much okay with this. The one thing I just overlooked, though, is the fact that we do have a decoupler on here, and that will screw up our orbit, like, the minute we decouple or whatever, so... I, once again, I'm not very... I'm not... I'm, I'm kind of not that big on making sure everything is, like, absolutely perfect, because there's no chance it's going to be 100% right. So let's just get this thing lined up, and... Let's see, what way will this boost our orbit if we, it will kind of knock it down? I could wait until it's right here, roughly, and then I could do it right here. I think that would kind of bump it the other way a little bit. So, is all the fuel gone? Yeah, okay, that's good. There we go. Our first station. See, that's at 1.8. Yeah, that's still very, very good. I mean, it's almost spot on still. Only difference in 200 or so meters, which isn't a lot. And we, we have a fairly decent amount of power supply and everything else. 
I tried to make sure that, you know, we don't really have solar panels right now. All we have are these, like, basic static panels. So I tried to put on as many as I possibly could without it looking excessive, and I think that looks very, very good. We should do a temperature reading while we're out here. So, um... What, it can't be done right now? That That's blasphemy. Toggle the display. Okay, um... Why can't the temperature be taken right now? That really is kind of bothering me. Whatever. So let's see. Uh, we don't have... Or we don't really ha need anything here. I put some lights on it because I know everybody complains that I never put lights on any of my stuff. So I figured it'd be alright to have a few lights. And we can't toggle the temperature in any kind of way. Whatever. What we'll do is revert back to the space center and we will check on a few things. I should quick save first. Yeah, we'll do that. Quick save and I'll see you once we get to the science center. All right, this is looking pretty good. I am gotta check to see, I think I don't know. I think the science, I, there's a science portion. I can't remember where it is exactly. It's unlocked. I know it requires 90 science. I felt like I've already unlocked it, but I, it says I unlocked this thing, but then when I go to try to use it, it won't let me use it. So I, I really don't know. We'll have to look into that more and see exactly what's going on, but I, I guess maybe our next launch will be the mobile processing lab and, uh, you know, getting some Kerbals in orbit and a few other things. We did unlock a little tiny bit of science. It wasn't really enough to really say anything great about, but we, we, got, we got some science, so it's definitely good stuff. So the next thing I will be trying to unlock, at least for right now, I mean, apparently we already got this thing, but I don't know how we can't use it or whatever, but yeah. It says, oh, okay. Um, yeah, research this part. Oh, apparently, um, yeah, wow, that was very confusing. I did not even know that you could... Re oh yeah, you can't research individual parts. I, I guess because at the point in time I did not have this unlocked and it wasn't actually in the game yet, it basically didn't like let me have it or something, so you had to unlock it. Whatever. I guess I solved the problem that I apparently did not even know about. So anyways guys, uh, we got a station. Our next launch will definitely be our mobile processing lab. And uh, we'll get some Kerbals into orbit around Minmus, starting our little station, and uh, definitely growing out some more. So anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.